Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another iPad video and today I will show you guys 17 awesome things that your iPad can do on iPad OS 13 and you might not even know about. These are tips and tricks that are very very useful and will make of course your experience better using your iPad. Now before I get into all that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for more iPad videos. So let's get right into it. Here we have 17 things that your iPad can do and you probably didn't even know about. Starting off with a pretty cool feature. So within any app on iOS where you have a link. So here I'm on the notes. I have that link there. Now we have a new feature where you can like preview a link just like this. But what's even more cool is that any link on any app on iPad OS 13, you can just go ahead and swipe the link like this to open it on the split view. As easy as that, you can just drag and open any link on the split view or what you can do is also go ahead and just drag it and open it as a card. So just any link, just go ahead, drag it like this. Let me just grab that and you can go ahead and place it here and you will be able to open it as a card or on the split view. The Files app on iOS and iPad OS 13 got probably the most new features. Now on the Files app, you can of course go ahead and quickly scan documents. So you're on any of the pages, on any of the folders of the, of the Files app, and you wanna quickly go ahead and scan a document. All you gotta do is just tap and hold anywhere, and you will have a button here that allows you to go ahead and scan documents directly from here. So you don't need to go to the back to the beginning of the Files app, but you can do that from anywhere on the Files app. Just tap and hold on any empty space and you can do that. Of course, from here, you can also from this menu create a new folder or you can go ahead and tap on info. And what this does is that it shows you a page where it will show all the information regarding the current folder you're in. So here I'm on the downloads folder, shows me the folder right there, of course. And it shows all like the stuff here, created, modified, last open, and also where like it is on location. So this is on my iPad, not on the iCloud drive. So that's really, really awesome. Of course, I can go ahead and tap to open that folder from there. As you probably know by now on iPad OS 13, you can pinch in like this on the keyboard to go to a smaller keyboard, which you can of course use with one hand and you can drag that to place it anywhere you want on the screen of your iPad. Now, if you wanna make it big again, you can pinch out to make it big again like this, or you can go ahead and just while, let me just go ahead and go back to the small one. So, or while just dragging it, you wanna make it big, all you gotta do is just place it down here, release it, and you will have back the big keyboard. When you're on Safari and you're on the tabs view, you will see all your tabs here. You can of course tap the X button to close any of them, or what you can do is just swipe them like this. Just swipe from right to left, and you can easily close any of the tabs on Safari. You can also rearrange tabs, so just tap and hold on one of them, and you can basically place it anywhere you want, so easily, just like that, rearrange any of the tabs that you have currently open on the Safari app. Now, while on the tabs view, you can, of course, drag any of the tabs and open it on the split view or open it as a card. So here I have an ad, a tab here. All I gotta do is just place it here, and it will open it on the split view. Or what I can do is go ahead and open that as a card. So let me just go back to Safari here. So just drag any of the tabs and then just don't slide it all the way here to the right or to the left. Just release it here and then you can open that into a card, which of course you can then use easier from here and of course close them just like that. On the Photos app on iPad OS 13, it is very, very easy to move any pictures you want from an album to another one. So all you gotta do is just tap and hold one of them and then you can go ahead and just select any other pictures that you want. Just like you do like on the on the home screen with the apps, go back there, open any other folder like where you want to basically save those or you can just drag them and release them on a folder and you can see right there they will be moved to another album. Just like that, tap, drag one of them, select all the other ones, and you can go ahead and easily move any one of them from an album to another one. 
while on the widget screen on iPad OS 13, you go to edit and of course here will have all your widgets. You want to add or remove any of them, you can do that from here. Now once you're done, you don't want to go and reach up there to dismiss this page. All you got to do is just swipe up from here and you will be able to go to the home screen without having to reach for the done button. On the settings of your iPad on iPad OS 13, and I believe this can be done on earlier like iOS 12 and iOS 11 as well, when you go to a section of your settings, so here I'm on general, then I go here to iPad storage, and then from here, I can go here to garage band. So what I wanna do is go back to general, go back to the general settings. I don't have to tap right there twice or three times to go back. What you can do is just go ahead and from here, just tap on general once again there on the left side and it will bring you right back to the general settings. Now while marking up a screenshot or just using the markup tool anywhere on your iPad OS 13, you can go ahead and move the toolbox basically anywhere you want. You just tap here and you can drag it up there and you can also drag it here on the side. You can also minimize it by simply putting it on the corner like that. So you will see just the current tool that you're using. So just drag it, place it on the corner, and when you need it, just tap right there to go ahead and maximize it. Now, if you tap these three dots right there, you can also enable auto minimize and it will be automatically minimized no matter where you leave it. So right there, you can see once you're done, you can go ahead and remove that. So as easy as that, once you're typing something, it will go ahead and automatically minimize. When you take a screenshot, you can also use a magnifier, which is very, very convenient if you're like trying to basically tell someone like for a particular thing on the screenshot, then you can go ahead, go to the toolbox, tap right here on the plus button and tap on magnifier and it will show you this magnifier right here which you can move on the screenshot and of course you can make it bigger or smaller and basically you want to focus on something on the screenshot you can do that like this but what if you want to focus like two different things you tap on it it will show you that menu which allows you to delete it or duplicate it and you can then have two different magnifiers and of course you can change their size one can be bigger one smaller and you can place them anywhere you want now on the notes app you may be using the gallery view which is really awesome and especially on the ipad will look really amazing what you can do is use two fingers to zoom in and out so the gallery view will have like these like kind of icons there that show you a preview of the note you can zoom like this to go in and out so pinch in pinch out to zoom in or out on the gallery view of your notes app on the email app you have of course your email here on the left side and you have one open you want to open another one at the same time what you can do is just go ahead tap here and you can drag that email on the side here to create a split view so now you can have two emails open both at the same time now what you can do is also not open it on the split view but you can tap and hold and just release it not here like on the side but release it here and you can open it on a card as well basically you can open as much of them as you want so you can create like different cards so you can have two for example two different cards for two emails let me just drag that once more so just release it there and you will have as many emails as you want opened at the same time using the new cards on ipad os 13. Now, of course, you might be taking a lot of screenshots on your iPad and sometimes it's like hard to reach for the buttons to take a screenshot if you don't have an Apple Pencil, which is, of course, very easy to take a screenshot with. You will have to reach for the buttons and sometimes maybe on like an iPad like this on iPad Pro that doesn't have a home button, it is hard even sometimes to find the buttons to take a screenshot. But what you can do is go ahead, go to settings and then go to accessibility, go to touch, enable assistive touch right here, and you will have custom actions, and you can choose either one of them. I have chosen the single tap, and I have chosen here screenshot. Now, what I can do from here is use the assistive touch button to easier take a screenshot. So in times when you're working like something and you need to take a lot of screenshots, this can be very useful. So you just tap right there and you can easier just like that take a screenshot. As you can see, what's cool is that it will disappear. The button here will disappear when taking a screenshot. So it won't be shown on the shot right there. So that's really, really awesome. Easily take a screenshot with the assistive touch. 
When on the keyboard of your iPad, you go to the numbers here, you can reveal extra like symbols from here. So if I tap and hold on the dollar there, it will show me like different other symbols of different currencies. So I can tap there and go, for example, to yen without having to go here, which of course won't even show most of them, but you will see like some symbols here and some on the other keyboard, but you don't have to go to the other keyboard. You can just tap and hold any one of these and it will show you like extra symbols which you can use directly from here without having to go to the next keyboard so let me just find some of them here we have them so of course you can go ahead and use all of these directly from here you don't have to go to the other keyboard as easy as that just tap and hold and it will show you all the other symbols on ipad os 13 and ios 13 as well you will be able to search on the spotlight search for any files that you have on the files app. So files that you have saved there or downloaded can be searched from here. Now what's cool is that you can also preview them directly from here. You don't have to open the files app to do that. So of course you can do that with pictures and with videos as well. So if you 3D touch on any video that shows up there, you will be able to see the preview of the video. Basically it will play the complete video here on the spotlight search without you having to open the files app to view it. Just 3D touch on it and you will be able to play the video directly from here. So that is it for this video guys. These are 17 iPad tricks that you probably didn't know, didn't know that your iPad can do this stuff on iPad OS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned some new tricks that you can use on your iPad, which of course will make your life easier and help you out perform different tasks faster and easier on your iPad. So that's basically it again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos like this. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.